The NFL had the most NBA opening week I have ever seen. From Antonio Brown's new team to Eagles fans fighting a Philadelphia 76er, you won't want to miss the complete roundup of the NFL's opening weekend. What's going on, Fumble Fam? It's your boy, Chris. But you can also find me over on my YouTube channel, CK2K. But make sure you subscribe right here. Hit that notification bell. And don't forget to like this video. All right. Can we all just take a second and just breathe together? Because this past weekend of football was something different. And most of what I'm talking about doesn't even have anything to do with what actually happened on the field. After a lackluster Packers-Bears game on Thursday, we saw a full schedule of games this past Sunday to kick off the NFL's 100th season. But before we could even enjoy that, the talk of the entire weekend was, of course, about Antonio Brown. The AB saga all started when his helmet was considered out of date and surprisingly enough, that helmet debacle evolved into the pro bowler being released from the Raiders. We reported last week that AB and Raiders GM Mike Mayock got into a war of words that almost led to AB getting physical before players stepped in to stop him. We also reported that the Raiders had a huge announcement which ended up being that they were not going to penalize Brown and allow him to play scot-free today on Monday. Just when we thought balance had been brought back to the NFL world, news broke that the Raiders ultimately decided to let him go, leading to him posting this video over on IG. The Raiders free! Y'all, y'all still with me? Because we're not done yet. A little more than an hour later, then free agent Antonio Brown was picked up by the team we all hoped wouldn't do it, the New England Patriots. Yes, people, the Patriots now have Antonio Brown, Flash Gordon, Edelman, and Demarius Thomas all on the same receiving court. He hello? Now we just got to wait for Gronk to come out of retirement. Unfortunately for Brown, though, he was not able to play in the Patriots opener against his former team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. But for anyone expecting this new marriage of Tom Brady and Antonio Brown not to work, well, Brady has a different plan. To no one's surprise, Brady has to be excited to have the opportunity to throw at one of the NFL's most talented receivers. Brady is so excited, he even told Brown until he finds a new place, he can go live with him. So for those who didn't know, the Patriots tried to acquire Brown from the jump, but as you'd expect, the Steelers were not about to just send A.B. over to Brady and the Patriots. Well, looks like A.B. managed to find a way there anyways. Well, with no A.B. in Pittsburgh, the go-to man is definitely going to be Juju Smith-Schuster, and the standout receiver isn't worried about any AB drama. A Patriots fan had huge AB letters printed out, and while Juju signed autographs for the Steelers fans who were in the building, he also took the time to sign the Patriots fans' AB letters. So, like I said, it was a huge opening weekend for the NFL, and I spent half the video just talking about the whole AB situation. Now that y'all caught up, let's highlight some of the other big moments of the weekend. The highly anticipated opening for the Browns unfortunately ended how the last 15 seasons have ended for this team when it came to opening day in a loss. The Browns blew the game against the Titans, but outside of Baker's interceptions, people were paying attention to OBJ's expensive watch he was rocking during the game. Pictures surfaced of Odell rocking a custom-made Browns-themed Richard Mile watch on. For those unaware, that watch is worth $350,000. Now, if that's not a flex, I don't know what is. Too bad his squad took the L still. Another squad that took an even worse L was the Miami Dolphins, but to no one's surprise, right? What was surprising was the immediate reaction after the game. Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens had their way with the Miami Dolphins after a 59-10 loss. The loss was so bad that it was reported that several players on the team contacted their agents afterwards to find a way out of the nightmare that may 
only just be beginning. It is no secret the Dolphins are planning to tank for the draft this year, but if the games look like this, I'd want out too. Last but not least is a bit of an NBA NFL crossover where we saw a bunch of Philly fans duking it out. But what else is new, right? Eagles fans have zero patience for anybody that comes to their stadium in a jersey of their division rivals. This goes for everyone, even if you play for their hometown Philadelphia 76ers. And Mike Scott, Mike Scott is from Virginia and he is a diehard Redskins fan. Well, since the two teams faced off in the opening, the Sixer might have thought he had a pass since he played for the home team's basketball squad. Well, that wasn't the case. Video came out of Mike Scott throwing down against these poor, poor stupid Eagles fans. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah, the intentions were there, but if the dude is 6'9 and you're about 5'8 and got a whole beer belly, some fights, they're just not worth it, man. So what was your favorite or least favorite moment from the opening weekend? Let me know in the comments below. My Saints don't play until tonight, so football hasn't really officially kicked off for me yet, but I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.